makeup artist Earl Simpson. Today we're going to do the no makeup makeup look, keeping you really natural and clean. Firstly, I'm going to clean the skin. I like to use a wipe around my finger, just lightly exfoliating the surface of the skin, wiping away any debris. I moisturize the face as well as the lips. Putting hydration back into the skin is very important before you apply makeup. Starting with the eyes, I'm going to use a very neutral shade, being sure to blend it through, highlight above the brow, highlight the inner corner of the eye. This makes you look very awake and fresh. For the eyeliner, I'm going to use a brown neutral tone pencil, really trying to get it at the lash line between the lashes. After I've completed the eye, I always clean underneath the eye. At this point, I'm going to even out the skin using a tinted moisturizer, keeping the hydration in the skin, giving an overall youthful, dewy look. Once I'm finished with the tinted moisturizer, I go back in with a concealer, concealing under the eyes, around the nose, the chin, any area that you need a little more coverage. Make sure you powder the sides of the nose, under the eyes, the chin, powder down the T-zone. Using a pencil, going into the brows, using hair-like strokes, just filling in the brow ever so slightly, following the upper arc of the brow. Afterwards, use an eyebrow comb and brush the eyebrows up. It just helps push the makeup into the skin for a more natural look. I'm gonna use a highlighter to highlight the cheekbones and the divot in the chin. Next, I'll be applying bronzer, a little bit of blush, starting on the apples of the cheeks, working back towards the temples. Highlight the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to use a lip liner. I'm looking for a very neutral, very close to lip color tone. After lining the lips, fill them in a little bit. Next, add a little bit of lipstick and gloss. And finally, mascara focusing on the centers of the eye outward. You don't want to go heavy with the mascara. Heavier at the lash line with the mascara, lighter to the tips. This gives a more wide open eye look. For the hair, we're gonna go with a loose wave. Firstly, I'm gonna wet it down and comb some mousse through it. You won't feel or see the mousse, but it's just gonna add a little bit of grit in the hair. Then rough dry it, and when it's almost dry, start taking sections using a round brush and blow drying a little bit of volume into the roof. Lastly, section by section, with a little bit of hairspray, I'm gonna curl it, keeping the ends of the hair out of the curling iron. Break out any of the tight curl until you get a looser and looser wave. The final result for this look would be something loose and easy. Nothing too done, just a little bit of body and a loose wave. 